to show you uh, the final stage of the um, preparing the fenugreek sprouts for um, eating. Um, you'll see that these are almost done. All the hulls are nearly off, but not quite. They're looking pretty green, pretty clean. It's a couple of holes in there, so what we're going to do is just, we're just going to finalise it today. I'm going to be juicing these this afternoon. So this is what we do. Once again, we put the water in. To do that final stage of those fenugreek sprouts. As I've said, they take multiple stages to get done properly. And because I'll be having them today, I'll, just, I'll be popping them in the colander. They're coming up beautiful. Just even now, just looking at those beautiful greens and all the work I've done, you just can't wait to get it into me. Just look at that. Just, just fabulous. Just so fresh. Uh, you just won't get that in a health food shop. Like you, like you sprout your own foods, and then you go to health food shops and you look at their broccolis and their, and all their vegetables, and they just half dead looking. They're, they're limp. They're not vibrant with life like that. It's just just fantastic. Nothing beats it. There's lots of things I want to talk about about the sprouts, about the health properties and the freshness and all that kind of thing, but that'll be for another video. I'll be going into quite a bit of detail about that actually. But for my first video, I just want to just keep it simple. Just simple growing methods. We'll go into more advanced growing methods of other sprouts as we go along. But um, yeah, you can see that, that the water's pretty clean now. Um, most of the hulls are off. Um, the greens are full and blooming. Not much bacteria accumulating now caused by the hulls and things like that. Um, that's pretty much done. It'll be ready consume in about an hour's time and um, they're fresh straight from the from the first mouthful so um, that's the Fendi Greek sprouts that's um, jar that's gonna it's gonna make um, an eight ounce eight to ten inch ounce glass of uh, cold pressed juice um, I would have at least 16 ounces of cold pressed juice in a sitting. Sometimes I'll go to um, 24 ounces of cold pressed juice in um, a sitting. Now I'll just do my other one real, real quick. As I said before, you don't put any pressure on them. Just fondle them, get those last holes off the sprouts. And the Greek sprouts are one of the preferred sprouts at the Hippocrates Health Institute. I've had enormous success in healing myself with these fenugreek sprouts. And I did spend a lot of time blending my sprouts on 100% raw, and I just weren't healing like I should have been. And when I switched over to the juicing, it's just it just made the world a difference. My skin cleared up dramatically. My energy was got even higher than it is now, and just the skin clearing up, it just showed me that. My organs were healing inside. I wasn't feeling toxic after eating nuts and all kinds of things. My digestion's greatly improved for these fenugreek sprouts. They're, they're well known for, for digestion. Um, they're well known for balancing blood sugar. Good, great for diabetics. Um, they've just healed my insides. Like I can't remember feeling this good. Even, even in my late teens, I have not got the inside health and the skin to work as well as what I do now, you know, in my 40s. So, 
I know what the sprouts do, I know the limitations of blending, sure there's good energy in blending, but the healing properties are just not going to be there. So, um, <clears throat> there's the juice I'll have later, um, this afternoon. That's, um, that's 500 mils of juice there, roughly, probably, yeah, maybe a little bit, a little bit more, but yeah, six, 16 ounces. So, it's Brian Nexus um, signing off for today, talking about the fenugreek sprouts. I hope you found this video informative, and um, I urge you, you all to to be making fenugreek a regular part of your diet. It gets rid of the mucus, cleans you out, helps digestion, helps with blood sugar, so you don't crave those sweets and and heavier foods and um, you will feel the benefits just give it some time it took me a year before i could feel the benefit the power of raw the, and the raw sprouts so you just it, it'll work for you eventually you know i wasn't too well uh 100 raw for a year before i could feel any benefits so and now it's just, just a completely different person I just feel so much power from the foods and, and you can just just go day and night and the stress doesn't get to you nowhere near as much. Uh, you just feel so happy all the time. You feel this real spiritual connection come out. And, but I'll, I'll talk more about that another time. I've just got so much to say about it. But I um, hope you enjoyed this video. And um, in, in, in the next video shoot, we'll be talking, um, we'll be showing um, how to show how to grow um, pea shoot greens on soil. But until then. It's Brian Nixus for thespreadtarian.com. Thank you.